Hi everyone, welcome back, Mighty Diva for a lifetime. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing well and staying healthy. And happy February 1st. Can you imagine the month went by so fast, but I'm here to kind of recap January, give you my February goals and take it from there. So with that said, January, wow. Can we say what a month for me on my weight loss journey? It has been a great month. It has been a lot of aha moments um, in the fact of finally accepting and actually, you know, like really, really doing my research, really accepting where my body is at this point, you know, over 40 and really, really taking care of me where I'm at right now. I can definitely tell you that what I used to do before definitely does not work for me now as far as a weight loss journey. And I finally get it. Um, so I definitely want to share with you girls, you know, like where I am, you know, and I always say if I can help at least one diva to push forward on her journey, then that's so satisfying, you know, to me because it's real. So you guys know I have been struggling for the past two years with the up and down of losing these last 28 pounds, 20, 30 pounds, right? And I kind of lose a little, but then I gain and I lose and a little gain. Da, da, da. So for the past two months, you guys know I've been back with my intermittent fasting. I've tried a couple 24 hours. I've done 18 hours. 19 hours and for me i love to do 19 hour fast my body does very well very very well with that eating window which pretty much gives me two meals you know i usually have i eat a very low carb breakfast to break my fast and then i have a you know a good feast my lunch or dinner um at night time so for the month of January, towards the middle of it, was a huge game changer for me. So I'm like, okay, I'm fasting, but the skill's not really moving. What's going on? So I dived in. Like, what's going on? So listening to Dr. Fong, I believe that's his name. He's like the originator of like this whole intermittent fasting craze, you know. Um, so he talks a lot about insulin resistant and i'm like i get it but i'm a rebel so i'm like don't tell me about my sugar don't tell me about my carbs because you guys know how i feel about that right but i'm like okay Mari, something's not right you're something that you're doing is not working so you need to listen and start making you know changes and i'm like okay i get it so i started really watching my carbs nothing keto and i've mentioned this before because i can't i believe that a woman body needs carbohydrates for her hormones brain function the whole bit but i find that between 100 and 125 grams my body does very well with those limits is it easy no because i am a carb addict <laughs> but I see how important it is for my body. And that has been a huge game changer mind-wise for me. You know, I come from a world of Weight Watchers when I first started my weight loss journey. Where you ate, you know, fruits are zero, you know, points. Fruits have so much carbs, whether they're good or you know, good carbs, bad carbs, there's still carbs. And your body will take them in, you know. If I am insulin resistant, I'm not type 2 diabetic, but I always itch my way. You know, like I'm always around the corner type of thing. And carbs really do an injustice to my weight loss. Now, playing with numbers, like I said, 100, 125, my body reacts beautifully to it the inflammation goes down um my blood pressure regulates um it's just an even thing all the way around so the intermittent fasting is a tool to help you 
be on a calorie deficit, but it's not a miracle weight loss. I need to say that because for some reason, there's a lot of divas that think that intermittent fasting alone is going to get your pounds off, and that's not the case. It's a beautiful tool for your health, um, you know, and to also help, but it's just a tool. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. So been definitely keeping an eye on my carbs. Like I said, no more than 125 grams. I have been doing my five hour fasting window. I have my breakfast. At breakfast, I have zero carbs, very minimum. The meal replacement check that I have from Heidi and Powell is like five grams of carbs, net carbs. And the one that I have from Jessica is also like four grams of um, carbs. So I have no more than like six seven grams of carbs in the morning you know so that's how i decide to break my fast and kind of give my body enough time to kind of like get you know moving now my second meal is my feast so pretty much i have about 120 grams of carbs that i can have so i don't feel deprived so this for me is like works you know I don't feel deprived. If I want to have my size of pizza, I have my size of pizza. I have a really good, satisfying, you know, salad or whatever the case may be with it on my naughty days, but I make it work. So if you're struggling, like I have been, yo-yoing with the same couple of pounds, most likely is your carbs and you're having too much of it. I'm not saying don't have it. I'm saying you're having too much of it and I finally proved it to myself and I didn't want to bring this point across until I can prove it you know what I mean now that I can prove it I'm like hold up this needs to be talked about because it's real you know um, every food you put in your mouth has nutrients see what's going on make it work because it's gonna change your life big time so as far as um, my fitness right i have definitely upped my weight training big time i'm doing four days a week as far as training goes i am over 40. everywhere i read they cannot stress enough how important it is for that muscle retention right and to build and i am hardcore going in at least 40 minutes i'm still doing my own workouts i find that to be so encouraging when you sit and you build your workouts depending you know on what you're gonna do that day i absolutely love it i actually got a treadmill as well that has the ifit which is so much fun because you're able to travel the world with these instructors you know and you go the treadmill follows them you know and up down hills and all that good stuff it is so motivating just today i was in egypt i was like yes bring it on just stuff that really keeps you going you know um i also kind of revamped my gym area and if you guys are new to my channel i actually took away my dining room and i my dining room done and i transformed it into my gym area i'll give you guys a glimpse of what it looks like um and i actually took out the total gym and i have it out because i'm really working on my back and those love handles and doing the pull-ups and the squats and it's just really really enjoying it you know um so this past month between really getting my sugars um and carbs in check doing no more than 125 grams and really working out also doing the 10k step challenge i have to shout out brenda i have to shout out angie there's a couple divas who are doing the 10k step challenge if you don't follow me on instagram follow me there because that's where it's at you know that's where i kind of talk about all that um good stuff on a daily so i'm still going to be doing my 10k step challenge so if you want to join for the month of february you're more than welcome to you know we stay accountable um and it, it helps you know it definitely helps in the past i believe this is the day 17th i've missed one day because of shark week and it was needed but i got right back on track and it was absolutely great um so for this month definitely going to be sticking to my carb take you know um of the 125 grams my 10k step challenge and my eating window of 
five hours a day. Now, one thing that I also want to mention is Shark Week. Um, been doing the research and they say that you shouldn't fast for no more than, you know, um, I believe it's like 16 hours on four days before Shark Week because of your whole estrogen level. And I kind of put that theory to the test this time around. So for four days before Shark Week, I did only, um, I ate in an eight hour window. And it worked out great. I didn't feel depleted. I didn't feel drained. It was great. So, you know, kind of definitely you have to build your package. You know, I love to come in, sit, share with you girls, you know, what has been working for me. So then you can kind of be like, okay, and go come up with your own package, you know, because what works for me is probably not going to work for you, but I think it's a good guidance. Um, but if you're insulin resistant, I can't stress it enough. Check your carbs. Check, check, check your carbs. It's going to make a world of a difference. Trust me. Um, as far as the fitness goes, don't track it to, you know, take away your calories. Unless you're hardcore working out like two hours a day, don't count your fitness. It's, you're not doing no justice to your weight loss journey, you know. So don't count it. Get your workout in lift weights do not count it when you set your you know whatever it is to track your calories or your macros do sedentary believe me we do not do enough to make a dent <laughs> in a calorie deficit so stick to just your calorie deficit Ex work out I, is, is amazing it's my drug of choice and i've said it so many times um but don't count it because it's not worth it so just stick to your calorie deficit and trust me, you will lose weight. So I started January 1st at 225. Dun, dun, dun. So as of today, I was 218 point. I'll tell you right now. Hold on. 0.5. I'm super excited because I believe that's like almost a seven pound loss. Hello. Yes. Super excited about that. I also picked up a new scale. It is the June May. Um, I've heard a couple of divas talk about this scale and it is absolutely great. It tracks your body mass, your water rate, your BMI, your fat percentage. Um, what else? Let me see because it tells me. So it tracks your BMI, body fat, skeletal muscle, your water, your protein, your versatile fat, your bone mass, your BMR, and your body age. So it, it's real, you know, and I love it. I'll link it just in case you want to go check it out. It's definitely, you know, worth it. Um, and just pushing forward, you know, it's, it's important. It's important to really sit and say to yourself, okay, where am I at this point in my life? Um, you know, what worked for me, for me losing that 127 pounds that I have lost was eating whatever I wanted as long as I was in a calorie deficit I was fine I was a lot younger than what I am now right now my body is really insulin resistant big time and I can tell because doing just three weeks of watching my carbs boy we really getting into some fat burning and that's exactly what we want we don't want this water way of point point eight point two losing water no 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 you want to lose you know, in order to be fat, you need to tap into your fat stores. And the only way you're going to do it is by having your insulin levels at a nice pace where your body can say, let's go. You know, so do your homework, divas. Really watch your carb intake. Once again, I'm not saying go keto. You guys know how I feel about that already. But really, really, really watch your carbs. You know, it's, it's doing a world of a good so with that said let me not ramble on anymore but divas it's real i will probably come back and check you guys again in two weeks the middle you know of february but if you want follow me on instagram and we'll take it from there so with that said have an amazing day god bless and we will see you soon